Welcome back to our weekly energy update. My name is Yona Prentice and this is your collective energy review for the coming week, week 11, March 9th till March 15th. All right, so let's look at the first part here of this life energy reflection. You know that I have this uh, subjective energy gauge here that you see on your screen. This is just really to inform you of where this can go. It's not really something that you can see as a as a static thing, okay? So depending on where you're at on your journey and, and what you're working on, you know, like the energies coming in can metabolize differently for you. But when I set the arrow on a specific sort of uh, intensity level. What this tells you is how intense these energies are that are coming in. And um, as we are looking at those together, uh, I want to greet you all here. I hope you guys are all well. Thank you for sending all those hearts. That's wonderful. Let us know where you're watching from. You guys are all energetically sensitive and empaths, okay? And uh, this is important for uh, people who are watching this perhaps for the first time to know that there is a huge community of people out there you know that is actually feeling similar things and if you even want to go a step further share with us how you are feeling right now maybe comment on what i am saying and also please feel free to let others know what works for you um, Hey. There is a uh, second video every week that I produce, which is for the Patreon subscribers and uh, the people who work with us directly, okay? Uh, in those, I go really deep into these um, energies and uh, sort of uh, how we can coach ourselves um, through this time, all right? So uh, basically, uh, the medicine, you know, that is coming in for you as energetically sensitive and empaths. We've had a few um, difficult weeks here. Yes, I see you guys. Italy! <laughs> I'm going to visit you this summer. <laughs> um, we've had some difficult weeks coming in because, or, or past us uh, only because there were some things that we, uh, ready or not, you know, willing to see it or not, had to recognize about how we see ourselves and how others see ourselves and this is still sort of reverberating with us and this coming week here guys just so you know um it's my birthday week by the way um really leads you into this internal place where you know all of a sudden all the stuff that your mind is ruminating about all the fears that you have all these like what ifs and going into the future and going into the past where all this is not really in the foreground and you'll feel sort of a tendency to go really deep within with yourself and I, I want to give you guys permission to do this okay this is a really really good week you don't need my permission obviously but you know we've got to remember that we are human beings and not human doings okay so this week is a really really good week to go into softness with yourself to go into like really feeling yourself connecting with your spiritual self and of course also for those of you who are active energy workers to connect with your energy body and observe the dynamics you know explore this a little more there are some self-coaching tips that I have for you which all go into the direction of is this really me this is really mine. For most of us empaths, that's actually one of the, the, the first questions that we need to ask ourselves. You know, is the stuff that we're dealing, is this mine? Now, by doing these collective energy updates, I'm not giving you an excuse, okay? Uh, this next week is going to pull you into things such as excessive, maybe binge eating binge watching Netflix or something like that you will feel you don't feel very motivated and you hear me say this almost every week but for an empath it's really important to not isolate uh, simply because we have this tendency to see other people's energies 
and the world around us as hostile or as overwhelming. And so we, our instinct is to shut ourselves off from that. But <clears throat> this isn't really why we are empathetic or why we are energetically sensitive, guys. We have this talent, this skill for other reasons. And those reasons are that we need to go deeper, okay? So shutting the world out, not wanting to go into this interaction with others because we see them as, as uh, you know, sort of potential places where we can absorb their emotions, their energies, their toxicity. It's not the solution, guys. We need to learn how to interact better while actually heeding and listening to our inner voice. This next week, guys, is a week where you really, really need to learn to trust in your instincts. Yes, and I'm reading your comments, guys. You will feel tired. You will feel that your body is very, very heavy. And for an energetically sensitive, this is a sort of like the anti-social drug, okay? <laughs> In those places, you really, really don't want to go out. And I'm not saying to go to parties or anything like this, but understand that this heaviness has nothing to do with the others. Now, if you can pinpoint it to specific individuals or specific places, that would be something you really need to listen to. But if it's just this overall wave that is coming you know over you then go into softness with yourself allow the self-reflective impulse that you have but without going into the extreme that's basically what i want to say so when i see that you guys have been dealing with with physical issues here that's because um you know not not you you know me i'm a bit sarcastic about this whole ascension thing not that i think it's it's um, woo woo, but um, because I think it's it's been used as an excuse for us empaths, you know, to to feel special about uh, those physical symptoms that we have, and this needs to be neutralized. Okay, whenever energy speed up, and this is what's going on right now planetarily. Okay, things are speeding up. This is an overall, and you know, something that has been going on for 20, 30 years. But there are some of these waves that come in, and right now is one of those. Then we feel things stirred up inside of ourselves, and everywhere we are incongruent, everywhere where we do things that we don't really want to do, that are not really true to us, that are not really conducive for us, that are not true, that are not expansive, okay? Our system will respond with resistance. So what you are feeling when these weeks come on where it get where your body feels super super heavy that is that you literally in the process of shedding or dissolving another aspect of your false self what is your false self it's not like your shadow self or anything like that your false self is the part of you that you have formed in order to cope with all of this but coping, guys, is not really dealing with things. And so when your energy system feels compromised, it's the time to go forward. It's the time to go into your energy. It's the time to really feel this out, to really meet your energy self, your spirit self, and work with it, okay? I am foreseeing things such as uh, issues with temperature regulation, which means uh, many of you, especially your kids, will come down with fever this week, um, but you will also feel may maybe heat waves or waves of feeling really cold. You know, all of this is really just helping us to deflate some of this um, false identity that we have been forming since our childhood. Okay, it's like, you know, like, if you can if you can picture this without going into like sort of fear about this but it's like you shedding okay and this temporarily this makes you feel a bit like you caught inside of your own skin allow this shedding allow this release to happen all right and use this as a time to be softer with yourself to just like okay allow yourself to be 
Try to really get out of your head. Try to get out of your own way. Listen to your intuition. Listen to your inner voice. Yes, Cindy, thank you for commenting on the energy session that we did last week here, um, which is called Grace Integrity. There's another one, actually, um, coming week on Tuesday. Um, Grace Integrity has a lot to do with fully embracing our spirit self. It shows us how to surrender to our inner higher power. And this is kind of like the conflict that we are experiencing. We are experiencing ourselves as this, the soul in a physical body. And when our soul gets called to step up, you know, to come more into the foreground, our body feels really, really heavy and hindering. Okay, and energetically here at Transcodes, where we do these ongoing public energy sessions for people to train this, for people to tune their energy body to this, um, we use grace integrity to help us harmonize this, to help us get this into balance. Yes, Annette, this is a time where you can observe your autonomous nervous system and all this adrenal fatigue and all this stress that you are accepting really as you, as you, as your normal, you know, just trying to live in this 3D world. And um, in the energy tips, I'll explain why this is a really good week to reset your autonomous nervous system and to go more into this silent, self-reflective place where uh, you allow your, your parasympathetical nervous system you know, to relax all these, these stress hormones and neurotransmitters. Yes, and you are so aware of these inner mechanisms and that's sort of the part where we have to be careful here with not judging ourselves with not bashing ourselves and really go into this softness with ourselves thank you guys for commenting yeah so my tip for you here for this next week besides of course to allow yourself to be with yourself more but not to isolate not to go into extreme so if you catch yourself self-soothing you know with food like emotional eating or seriously wanting to check out like using substances then please remember that this is not about checking out this is about harmonizing all of this so catch yourself maybe pace this out a bit like i've said it's a really good week to go within and to do a little bit of this but don't cut yourself off from 3d because that just creates more inner confliction and inner incongruences. In the energy tips for Patreon subscribers and uh, people who work with us here directly, um, I will introduce something that I call the three gauges of truth. It's like how you can do congruence testing with yourself um, using some of your energy awareness. So this is for those of you who are uh, really, who really want to work with their energy and who really want to get to this place of self-mastery. The, the other uh, tip that I have for you is, of course, working with your energy body, exploring chakras, really working with this. You know this about transcodes. We've been doing this for years and years. So this weekend is the weekend for our chakra intensive. That's a three-session remote energy workshop where through energy sessions you learn how to tune into your energy body and we sit on the other end of this we observe your energy and then reflect this back to you in energy coaching in the empath form so if you're interested in this and you're watching this here right now this will be our giveaway for uh the week 11 okay so if you want to win two of the tickets that I'm giving away for the Chakra Intensive, How to Read Your Own Energies, then type into the comments, either here in the Empath Forum or in the YouTube uh, video that I release uh, a little bit later, or in the Facebook commentary. Um, I want to explore my energy body. So if you want to win, type in, I want to explore my energy body yes 
thank you guys for all your hearts. Um, I got to move on to recording the energy tips for this week. So if you want to check out my Patreon channel, you'll see there's some public content, but there's premium content for those who support the, the Transcodes channel. And this is also what makes this possible that I can do all these productions here. Also check out this new playlist that I've started, um, Concepts for uh, Empaths. Uh, very, very interesting. Uh, stay tuned. Um, subscribe to my email list. Over the course of the next two months, I'm going to release like 60 videos, just concepts for empaths and energetically sensitives. Yes. All right. Don't forget to share the video. Love you guys. Hope to see you next week. Bye-bye, everyone.